Tutorial 3 Learning how to use a sequencer on a Yamaha PSR S500 Arranger Workstation. Hi there. Today we're going to be learning a sequencer of the PSR S500. Um, the S500 now, it has an 8 track sequencer, but one thing about it is that also it can record up to 10,000 notes on one sequence. I'll show you how to do it so you can make your own tracks. Now there's a couple of buttons that you have to look for on the sequencer mode. Number one is the song mode button. And number two is the record button. Now for your sequencing tracks, over here, your registration memory is going to become those tracks. So what you're going to do is basically, the first button that you're going to want to press is the song mode, which is located by the intros variations and fillings. And the next button that you want to press is the record. Record button will light up and sync will start will light up. But we're not going to use the sync will start right now. I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Now the first thing about laying down a track is you might want to try to practice your ideas first before even starting to play because once you hit a key it will automatically start recording. So that's why I told you to take off the sync start button. But I'm going to show you track by track how to actually lay down those tracks. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is hear the metronome. Metronome will basically play. Now if you don't like the tempo that is playing, if you want it a little bit slower, you have your tempo button right here, which will allow the screen to show the tempo. So all you have to do with the wheel, dial the tempo that you actually really want. So say for instance if I want it slower or if I want it faster, you get to dial the tempo. Now another feature that you have is the tap tempo. So what if I want it so fast? It'll show me a tempo to basically 253. If I want it slow, there's your tempo, 119. Okay. Now on the sound side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my instrument. The instrument I'm going to pick is actually go to percussion and I'm going to dial it until I see standard kit. So I'm going to start with my drums first. Okay, here's the exciting part. Song mode you have on. The record button you have on. When you press the record button, the registration panel lights will turn off. All you have to do is press track 1. Now right on the screen, which I'm going to show you, you have actually the accompaniment off because you're not using your accompaniment at all. You have your main, your left, and your dual. So say for instance I can change any of these to mains. Now once I'm working with one instrument, you have to have it on main because your main is dealing with your instruments that you're working on right now on the panel. So the first track is on main, the second track is on left, and the third track is on dual. I'll show you how to change them. Okay, so we have right now accompaniment off, which we're not using, the main, the left, and the dual. What if I want to take those off? I'm not going to use the left because I'm not using my left hand to do any bass parts and I'm not using the dual because we're not having dual voices at all. So all you have to do is with the record button hold it down and with your registrations right where it says left and dual press them until they go off. Track which I have is the drums. Listen to my tempo and what I do is I usually give it eight measures because the minute you press the key, it's going to already start recording. So here we go.
turn it off, and it'll start right back to measure one again. Okay, so number two, I'm going to use my base. You're repeating the same process again. So all I gotta do is hit put on a metronome, and I can start playing if I want to whenever that I want. Once I turn it off, back to measure one again. Now before I start track three, I just wanted to remind you guys is that the PSR S500 is a 32 note polyphony bass, maxed. So if you go beyond 32 note polyphonies, most of your instruments will cut off. You can put as much instruments as you want, but try not to play too much of ferrous notes, or as you say, complex chords on there. Okay, so now track three. All I have to do is press record and then registration three, which is my track three. Now on the screen, you can see that track one and track two is gonna be a play track and track three, since it has the main, is gonna be a record track. Okay, now for my track three, I have a cool electric guitar sound. So all I have to do is just press record, press track three, which is actually gonna be my main and then start recording. Have my metronome on, and I can just start playing. stop right back to measure one okay so track four I'm gonna have a dyno steel which is also in my guitar category and that's gonna accent the cool electric guitar here we go start recording